Yo, yo, welcome back to the show. Don't let the mystery box fool you. We want to give a few shout outs to Alina, Your Right Sock, and AKA Karma. And we truly appreciate uh, your comments and liking our videos and helping us grow the channel. We're doing this part-time on the side. We haven't gone full-time yet. We'd like to get there. So help us to get to a thousand subscribers. And let's get into the show, yeah. We went ahead and prepped the car, and what do you think's in the box? Do you think it's for the Audi, or do you think it's for the Volkswagen? And let, don't let the name fool you. What do you think, Michael? You ordered um, them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Volkswagen. All right. <laughs> but this is not all the parts, right, Michael? No, no, there's more to come. All right. Oh boy. They sent the wrong color. <laughs> they sent the wrong color? Yeah, it should be blue. Are you sure? I think that's what, that'll go I thought we were car. changing the color of the car, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. The fairing is still <laughs> all primer. Then we got our wheel well. That was from the driver's side. That was all tore up. Radiator Fan. support. yep. And of course, our windshield wiper. Reservoir, that's important. That looks like something they could do a tracheotomy with. Right? And that doesn't even look close to what the old one looks like. <laughs> yeah, no. The other one's pretty mashed up. Ah. Where does that go, Michael? Well, that's a bumper support. Uh, the bumper skin gets attached to this, and then this gets attached to the So that's frame. on the inside? So that's on the inside. You don't get to see that. Now, this is the bumper. <laughs> the bumper, the impact bumper right impact there. Impact bumper. So got it upside down, but that goes on the bumper, attaches the one part was snapped off, but if you put fog lights, you don't need this. So how come we only have one though? The other one is still intact. So we're gonna use that one? Is that the plan? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Mr. Conservative here. <laughs> yeah, that's a fender support. So it helps hold the fender in place. Is the that other one with got the fender well. that we got? Uh, theoretically, they got, it's the same color. It must go with this one, yeah. <laughs> that's right. So and that's your hood latch. All right. Hood, re hood release. And this yeah, is like the it. most important piece right here. <laughs> right? Your license plate frame. I thought we I think it'd be I think it was gonna look better without my, it. My my choice would have been just use some super glued, oh, put the super, license hey. plate on there. Windshield washer fluid tank. Um, it's a goner. As you saw, we already got one. The wheel well for the other side of the car, so that one's still good. This is part of the, the radiator support, but we will go ahead and reuse these guys. These are pretty expensive, so we'll take pop those guys, that out. Save How are we going to get it out? Um, I think we got some dynamite or something. <laughs> so. Just blow it out? <laughs> yeah. Well, as you saw, we're going to have to replace this. This one was just too damaged. But this portion of it, we still will use our air intake. And it's got the baffles in there, uh, air temperature sensor, all that allows the, flow, the air to flow in as needed. And we'll reuse the horn. Of course, the hood prop. We'll see if we'll be able to fix that. It's just tweaked just a little bit. So if not, we'll have to go ahead and replace it, so. All right. But this one at least is the right color. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and disassemble, disassemble some of these parts so that we can get them uh, set up for putting on those with those parts over there. Wow. Now what we're going to do is attempt to save these. So this basically mounts right here and goes in there like that. And that's what helps support your bracket. Looks like there's a little lever in here. Maybe. All right. Do 
you broke it off. What's that? You did the same thing I did, you just broke it off. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Okay. I think they're supposed to go on here first. Oh, you think they go on there first? Yeah, because you uh, have to pop that thing on. You're, not You're going to be able to, in effect, wrap them around here. Ah, sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. We'll get that on there. <laughs> We'll address that when it comes to that point. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. And then we're going to need this, this. This guy we need, yeah. Is it riveted on there? It looks like it. You'd think that if it was riveted on, when you buy the part, it would come with it. <laughs> so you're, you're expecting manufacturers to make sense. <laughs> I see other differences here too. Well, we've got rivets. Can we pop that rivet out? Yeah, we'll be able to do that. That's no All problem. Right. See, we're good. But I mean, these we guys. We got a rivet. What guys? These guys. What did it amount to? That's part of this air diffuser is mounted. Oh, I see. I think that's where that. You say you so, got me the wrong part? Well, that's what it's looking like. <laughs> there was the choice of type one or type two, and we couldn't find any information on what the difference was, but the majority of vehicles was type one. <laughs> so. <laughs> so this is the same, this, it's just these two. All right. I'm going to clean this up. All right. All right. It's not too bad. What we'll have to do is figure out how to, if we can fasten this piece right here, then basically we don't need to get another part. We got to snap this back in. I hope we lost the little piece. What was it out there? I think it's supposed to be part of this guy. Oh, uh, well, that could be. Just drill a hole, put a bolt through there, nut on this side, and it'll still be able to rotate, pivot when the motor, when the motor's actuated. Because the uh, little bar right there, or pivot little, point, little right? Yeah, the little plastic tab got broken off. Yep. So, you save $195. Yeah, so. and with a small modification. Yeah, and it's not anything that's a safety issue or anything that'd be a danger or so, so it just has to be free so just it so move. that it can rotate yeah, yeah you don't want to tighten it too much exactly. but yeah how are we going to secure this so that this stays mounted uh, duct tape duct tape <laughs> <laughs> no that can be uh, plastic welded and that should not be too much of an issue okay uh, so at 120 choice? miles an hour as we're going by the bmw it's not going to be a lot of pressure from yeah. the airflow yeah I wouldn't worry about the welds. <laughs> I'd worry about the two little bolts that are holding them on. <laughs> we bought, as you know, some may call them the jaws of life. So I've never done this before, but what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to straighten this baby out, take all these wrinkles out, push it up, and then take out this crease and this crease here, see if we can get that back into shape. Okay, so that's working. That's a adjustment there. See it pop up.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, but we just wanted to do a quick uh, summation of what we kind of knocked out. We worked on straightening this out. Uh, we popped it out here. We kind of leveled this up. We got most of this uh, indentation and bend out of it. Uh, the last thing that we'll probably focus on is trying to figure out how we can pop this out right here. We'll see if we're able to do that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and kind of clean this up, make it a little more pretty. Uh, we did a mock-up of this uh, bracket and the other bracket for the fender. And we noticed that there was a hairline crack in uh, straightening this out. So instead of using this part, we're gonna go ahead and order a new part. What we did over here, which was uh, quite funny, was um, we went ahead and mount mounted the uh, radiator bracket. And what was interesting is I Googled YouTube to figure out how we could get this remounted on the uh, 2020 Jetta, and I could not find a video. So then I remembered that we actually dismantled ours, and so I looked at our old video to figure out how to remount that. So I thought that, that was kind of funny. So we, got, we went ahead and got this put back in. We noticed a couple things. Um, when we had the car jacked up, we actually noticed We'll actually give you a better picture later on, but there's some uh, da damage under there that we discovered. So we'll have to go ahead and address that and kind of look more into that and see what that damage, how we can, if it's an issue or if it's just kind of cosmetic damage, we'll have, see how we can address that. Also, we also noticed when we were straightening out this over here that this uh, uh, strut is all bent. So you can see it's increased here. So we'll have to go ahead and uh, swap out that uh, strut as well. But we might have some things in, in the works there that might we might not actually have a different strut, but something else. So stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, and then the last thing that we did is we uh, remounted this bar. We riveted it in and got that done. And then um, we cut these brackets off of the old uh, bumper. So you can see right here where we cut them off and we're gonna go ahead and mount them on this new bumper. Actually, this lines up here, actually here. So we'll go ahead and mount both of these up on the new bumper. And what these brackets do is allow us to mount our <laughs> air valence. Ah, thank you, Michael. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and reuse this piece. Uh, there are some issues with it that uh, we're gonna have to fix on this side. So we'll go ahead and fix this and kind of re-weld it back together. And so stay tuned to the next video to see how we finish out this, get those brackets mounted, fix this uh, air valence, and get those mounted on the car. We truly appreciate your support and love. And we love all the comments that we get from everyone. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.